to Radio Romania International. Focus on Romania. This is Radio Romania International broadcasting from Bucharest. Traveler's Guide. Welcome to Traveler's Guide. We are Vlad Palku and Mihai Ignatescu. And today we invite you on a trip to the Western Carpathian Mountains. The Western Carpathian Mountains, along with the Banat Mountains, are one of the most important karstic areas in Romania. Many of the caves in this region can be visited by tourists, others are accessible only to speleologists. However, if you want to visit the latter caves, you can apply to specialized guides and speleology clubs. The lowest area where caves are accessible is the Podura Krajului Mountains area, which you can reach coming from Orada and Cluj-Napoca, with cave entrances in Beyush and Alesht. Speleologist Viorel Lașcu enlarges on those caves. The Vadu Krishuli cave is accessible along the Cluj Orana Highway. A river flows in the cave, forming a six meter tall waterfall, 40 meters away from the entrance. Apart from the cave, you can visit the spectacular karstic gorges in Vadu Krishuli. The pottery in the area is famous, people making white earthenware unique in Europe. If you go up the Fast Krish River Valley, you'll reach Shunkuyush commune, where there is the Unguru Mare cave. It is a cave with an impressive portal, and close to the cave, there is an over 200-year-old wooden house. You can get to the cave walking on a suspension bridge over the Krish River, a bridge which is below the cave portal. In the past, the cave housed the most important treasure of bronze weapons in Romania. Farther down, there is the 50-kilometer-long wind cave, which you can visit with guides from the Speleology Club or from the Department of Protected Areas and the Sustainable Development Center. The latter plan to implement a tourist development project on about 300 meters in that cave. In a Roshia commune with traditional houses dotted about it, there is the Crystal Cave, which was discovered after 1987 by the miners who extended their working phase of bauxite mining. The cave is a real natural gem, its walls being coated by crystals or stalactites. The cave has been electrified and laid out so as to measure up to European standards. Here is Viorel Lașcu again. There is a center here whose specialized guides can take visitors right to the mining museum introducing them to various types of gear and equipment used in mining operations in the past. Going further, we have the spectacular Crystal Cave, one of the world's unique places. Here, visitors are standing right under translucent calcite crystals, some of them measuring up to 80 centimeters, spectacular crystal clusters, which we are not allowed to touch, a rule which is mandatory for visitors too. From the Crystal Cave we go to Remezia Commune, which boasts another unique cave called Meziad. Its uniqueness resides in the huge portal at its entrance. This is the first cave prepared and laid out to receive visitors back in 1903. Now it has a new lighting system with LEDs stretching over a route of 1.5 kilometers, a distance which visitors may cover in about 40 minutes. Its spectacular vaults with huge arches create the impression of a Gothic cathedral. The cave's impressive acoustics has inspired administrators to build here a concert hall. The cave is also unique because it is home to eight different species of bats, and in some periods of the year there are over 40,000 bats here. From Meziad Cave, one can go straight to Stena de Valle, a beautiful mountain resort located at an altitude of 1,000 meters and surrounded by the Vladasa and Podura Krajului mountains. 
Stena de Valle is one of Romania's most sought-after resorts, considered a jewel among Crișana's mountain resorts. The resort's ski slopes are fitted with cable transport facilities, being also the choice destination for many winter sports lovers. North of the Bihor Mountains, tourists can see one of the most impressive karstic formations in Romania, Cetățile Ponorului. This area of unmatchable beauty, dimensions and complexity has taken its name from the surface formations whose huge stones and pillars give the impression of fortified walls. The place boasts the highest portal in Romania. As it is five kilometers long, it is more suitable for experienced tourists. Those who are not that experienced better set out to visit the area with a specialized guide. Speleologist Viorel Lașcu has more on the caves in the Apusen Mountains. The famous Scarishwara cave, housing the world's largest underground glacier, is open to visitors all the year around. To enter it, one should go down a spectacular shaft measuring 40 meters in diameter to reach a beautifully lit hole where ice and light create a breathtakingly beautiful landscape. Under this less-known glacier, there lies a cave called Pojarul Polite, a scientific reserve with huge crystal formations. Also around the Gurda commune, there is the very accessible Puerta Lui Ionele cave, where tourists can admire the spectacular calcareous formation called Keile Ordenkushi, which is a wild area close to the motorway. Down the road, linking Campen to Alba Iulia, we can visit the Hudalui Papara cave, which is a spectacular place crossed by a river, which forms an impressive 11-meter waterfall. That was Traveler's Guide.